Very big. <laughs> We're talking about hell let loose. But before we get started, if you enjoyed the video, you should know you should like you know smack that subscribe and like button. And also check out my other socials below in the descriptions. Now let's get back to that video, boy. So Hell Let Loose left early access back in July. So we're about a month or so into 1.0. Uh, this update introduced the Eastern Front. So including two maps, which is uh, Kursk, which is like an open field map and has some trench warfare. And if you know, get, if you get stuck out in the open, you basically just die. So stay in the trenches or throw smokes. Then we have Stalingrad, which is heavily industrial. It's definitely more suited for infantry combat due to the endless cover, but you know, there's tanks too. Uh, on, on, on the Russian side of things as well, you, of course they have the T-34 tanks that they brought in, which are gorgeous. And, um, they do pretty good against the German tanks, especially if a good crew. Uh, you also get the uh, Katyusha, if I said that right, which is the Russian rocket truck barrage is an arty choice if you have a good commander. And boy, is that thing beautiful when them rockets rain down. As well, if you got in, uh, if you got in early, which is I think it's too late now, but if you got in early, you got the Silver Vanguard DLC, which gave you some free uniform skins. You can also purchase the Lethal Tide DLC, which is like five bucks. And they got some pretty cool uniforms. But besides that, with this update so far and a month in and playing a lot of it, some of the issues I noticed, which is not much, but uh, some of the issues I noticed is mainly with the Stalingrad map. I feel like it still requires some optimization as like, I don't know, the frames could be up and down depending on what's going on. That's probably also due to the fact that there's just so many textures on that map. But I'm sure in time, it'll probably get smoothed out. There's also a lot of information in the patch notes. So if you want to know more about, you know, what the Russian side has to offer with this update, uh, I'll, you can check, click on the, you can click on the link below and I'll take you to the, uh, the patch notes as well. Um, there's also a roadmap you can check out as well. Uh, but besides that, if you enjoy games like Red Orchestra or squad based games similar to Squad or Post Scriptum, Scriptum, script, Scriptum, Scriptum, then I definitely recommend getting the game. And if you also happen to get the game or you own the game, feel free to hit me up. And we should get some, uh, some Uraz in, you know? But besides that, like, I've been following this game for a while, playing it for a little while. And I'd say with the with them leaving early access and going into 1.0, I'd give it a good uh, good uh, uh, out of ten. The game's good, dude. Especially the constant death simulator experience that you get when you play oh, this game. What the fuck? Fucking like and subscribe.